Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about some marijuana microdosing. Microdosing as a practice, as a lifestyle, has become really, really a huge part of um, a certain part of culture in America, I think. I don't know if it's in other countries, but it's definitely in America. The one major problem a lot of people have is, is whether or not it's even a real thing. And, and microdosing tends to deal with um, mushrooms or LSD. And they say if you microdose, if you just take a little bit before it becomes a trip, before it becomes hallucinogenic, uh, you then are in this state of happiness and, and you're more productive and it's kind of a life hack. And that's a bit of a old-fashioned term for it but that's what it really is anyway I saw this article on insider that is talking about this product from Zeno called um, a weed pill that basically is a, is a microdosing of marijuana and on the face of it that's really fascinating because I've never really heard of that and I don't think many people would even consider that to be beneficial in any way however they've put a lot of advertising into it I find it I found it very fascinating so uh, I bought one and I'm trying it out just to see what it's like. Uh, let me show you the little package here. So this is Zeno, this package, this is the smallest one that I found. It comes with 60 pills there. And in particular, it says right there, which is the, uh, the THC amount, which is 0.4 milligrams of THC in each pill. That's not a lot at all. In the back here, it says take one to three pills daily. Uh, depending on how much your tolerance is, swallowed with water, blah, 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 blah. The first thing you would be thinking is, that is hardly any THC, and for this, for them to be selling this, it's almost like a scam because they're selling less THC, less things for more. Uh, speaking of, the price of this thing, $60 on the website. I got it, it seemed like the only option was to get it delivered, and that was another, well, with taxes and everything, it ended up being $100. So $100 for 60 pills that only have 0.4 milligrams of THC is nothing at all. That's that's an extreme amount of money for this and it seems like such a classic example of, you know, California companies trying to find any way to remarket uh, cannabis into some other way. I feel like, yes, this does kind of fit into that. That's, it's a bit scammy the way that they're doing it. It's way too much money. It should not cost $100, especially if they market it costing $60. So that was my first kind of reaction to ordering this and getting it. And, you know, to be fair, I did get it delivered the same day and that, that was just an option, not for any, it wasn't any more expensive, but if you're in LA, you can get it delivered the same exact day, which is pretty nice. So I got these yesterday. Then um, I took one pill right when I got it. It was the afternoon. And I think I did feel something. I felt, I felt a little bit mellower I guess actually before we go into the, before we go into what I took today let's talk about what else is in there so so yes 0.4 milligrams of THC is not much and if it was just that it would be basically a ripoff however it does have one other thing in it which is an FDA approved calming supplement called LT9 um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right LT9 L-theanine. Anyway, it's a calming supplement. So th that along with the THC is supposed to give you a more calm effect. And it's, 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 it's especially for people who have a really, really low tolerance or typically have um, anxiety inducing highs when they smoke marijuana. Today, because I took some yesterday, I didn't really feel much. I took uh, two pills this morning. And remember in the back, it says take one to three pills. So I tried, I tried two today. And I had it with my coffee, and about 40 to an hour, 40 minutes to an hour later, I think I was definitely starting to feel a calming effect and a bit of a warming on my face. Um, I was working, I was editing, and I feel like I was kind of just like time was passing by. I'm still surprised that it's one o'clock right now as I'm filming this. Um, and yeah, it was, it was actually really enjoyable. I have a lot more of these pills, so I have a lot more kinds of combinations to try out. For now, today, this this two pill amount was, was good. And you know, a lot of the people watching this video are not gonna be the audience for this pill because it is, again, not for heavy smokers. Um, it works for me because I don't smoke very much and my tolerance is really, really, really low. So this makes sense. However, if you're a, a regular smoker, I would say you'd probably need to take like five or six of these to, to feel any kind of calming. And I'd be curious what you think because if there's any difference, then that would be fascinating. 
So yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll continue updating you on how this goes. I'll continue updating you on, on um, the effects and I'll try some different variations. So yeah, that's Xeno, Xeno Daily. Okay, and that's that for uh, marijuana stuff. Today, however, is a huge music day. There are three big releases, at least for me, that came out. Um, one of them is the new Animal Collective album. Uh, I've always been a big fan of Animal, Animal Collective and this is the first time that they've actually kind of uh, delivered on the promise that they created from Meriwether Post Pavilion, which is really exciting. I mean, it's they're very different albums. That one is almost claustrophobic compared to this airy version of this new album, Time, Time Skiffs. Comparing what this is with the last two releases of theirs, I believe it was two, Painting With and um, Centipede Hurts. Uh, this is something that is extremely welcoming and uh, I can't wait to listen more and more and just like have it seep into a room. It's one of those albums. Next up is the new Mitski album, Laurel Hell. And this one has um, a lot of mixed reactions that I did not expect. I guess I expected a lot more coming from Mitski because she has such critical acclaim and her fan base is so adamantly for her and supportive. But the album itself is very 80s influenced. Um, it's kind of somber. It's actually very sad when you, when you hear that her mindset ever since her last album, Be the Cowboy, has been one of a conflict about being famous and how it's kind of making her detach from her own personality. It's it's rather sad. Anyway, the whole album is about that. And I think it's one that will be a grower. And uh, from the offset, I, I enjoyed a lot. And then finally, there is the new album by Black Country New Road, which to me is the most exciting release of this Friday because it is an album that is just showing a band performing at their height and potentially their peak because uh, right before this album came out, the singer had announced that he was leaving the band, which is horrible news for the band because the singer is really everything in, the, in this group. But um, the album itself is really, really strong. It has very long, epic scope songs throughout. Um, it feels much more happy, more indie-esque than their last kind of punk leaning album. I think it's gonna be considered one of the greats of this year at least. So those are the three. I've got a lot of listening to do and uh, that's that for today. We'll be back next week with some more stuff and I'll especially let you know how these Xeno pills go. See you then. <coughs>